It's one of the hottest items for thieves and a type of theft that seems to go in waves. Catalytic converters. Yeah, they're very valuable to cash in, but an area man said he wasn't about to let the thieves get away with his car parts. Then your side's Amy Avery has more on this catalytic confrontation in a manner of speaking, Amy. Well, Tom and Lena Hollis Lilly says he's not one to mess with, so when he saw two people under his car, he knew what they were up to. So that's when he took action and took the keys out of their car so they couldn't get away. Probably about the other side of the old truck back there, and I heard them voices. Hollis Lilly says he was walking his dog when he heard voices he didn't recognize. He got a little closer and realized two men were trying to steal the catalytic converter from his car. So he called 911 and found a way to make sure they couldn't get away. I reached in there, took out the keys from my pocket. Then I come back here and said, What are you doing under my car? Lily was on the phone with 911 dispatcher Don Abbott. This was my first one of it, like in the action, and there was a few that followed. She says she could tell it was a tense situation. I said, You did what? And that's when he let me know, which I think it was smart because it prevented them from leaving. I was worried for his safety with it escalating. She heard me and him get into it at one time. I told him, I'm giving you one warning. And that's when she asked me to move off to the greenhouse. Gates County deputies got to the scene within minutes and arrested Marshall Moore and Delvin McGrath. I remember being kind of mind blown that he told us that he stayed calm enough to go and take the keys out of the car. Gates County Sheriff Ray Campbell says it was a team effort to get them behind bars. I'm glad you know, that the deputies were in the right place at the right time, so they got there pretty quick, caught them in the act. And courageous thinking on Lily's part played a big role. Well, these guys could have had guns and I could have turned on him, and, and he walked up and did what he, he did anyway, taking their keys. So, great job on his part. I guess they figured already they were screwed. <laughs> they won't go anywhere. Now, the two men were successful at sawing the catalytic converter off of Lily's, Lily's car, so right now he does not have a way to get around. He does plan to set up a fundraiser because he can't get to doctor's appointments at this time. We'll link that at wavy.com when we have it. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.